And my expectations of China altogether was not what I've seen so far. It was definitely a lot bigger and busier than I thought it would have been. A lot of Western influence in Chinese culture, so you really don't feel like you're that far from home, even though you're on the other side of the world. It was eye-opening, filled with rich sights to see. You're really experiencing the culture here. <laughs> This is the most amazing experience I have ever had in my entire life. China in the next 10 years or 20 years is going to be one of the biggest players on the international stage. This is an area where we're going to see a lot of foreign competition in the States. So it was really nice to see the business aspect. We're about to go into the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. So very excited to go in. It's supposed to be a quiet stock exchange. It was funny that we're riding rickshaws pedaled by one guy, and then there's Mercedes Benzes and Porsches driving and parked on the same street. I guess it's just proof of how fast China has developed. But I wasn't really expecting how big an influence the United States has had on this country. They're willing to accept certain aspects about our culture, and I think that helps them just do business with the United States. I'd say in Hong Kong, you really see the differences among the classes. Um, upper class, very small portion, I think it was around 6%, and the lower income class was the majority, so you didn't really see the middle class. The higher you are on the mountain, the richer you are. So all the buildings and houses here are over $2 million homes. It's insane. Going to St. Anselm has really helped broaden my view of, you know, there's more out there than just the United States. There is more than the life that we're accustomed to. It was really interesting to see the Hutong area. So this is a really typical courtyard that we call Si He Yuan in Chinese. I never thought that someone could live like that, I think, and still maintain like an average lifestyle. It was built in the Ming Dynasty, 1622. We visited the Great Wall of China, which was definitely the highlight of the entire trip. I didn't expect it to be this high. Um, I didn't expect to see this view. It's a big mainstay of human accomplishment, and it really was spectacular. It's just amazing to think of how many other people have walked there. <laughs> you just climb the Great Wall. <laughs> It would be hard to be in China without thinking about the past. And they're really proud of their history. And Americans, I know, we're proud of our history, but we kind of forget that we're so young compared to every other country. In China, is, uh, I think it's the most important festival in China. Just speaking to all the students at the university in Shanghai, everyone dreamed of going to America, but only a few of them are going to be able to go. They were really enthusiastic and want to learn more about you know, the Western culture because everything that they know is completely isolated in just China. I have a dream when I was a child is to be a scientist. This small 10 days really opened my eyes. You're here, you're interacting with the people. They've touched me in a way that I didn't expect. And I didn't, I didn't realize that they were going to have such an impact like on my, my personal life. China was an incredible experience. Just being able to see how they operate business and uh, their culture differences was incredible.